So how do you know you're neck deep in the 4AG engine? Well, of course, that's when you have one, two, three 4AG oil pumps. As a matter of fact, I have four 4AG oil pumps, but these three are all that I need for what I want to show you guys today. So looking at the oil pumps like this, you will have a hard time noticing any significant differences between these three. And that of course makes sense because this is pretty much the same part and all of these three oil pumps will fit any 4AG engine block. Now some of the differences that you can see just by looking at them is for example this part here. It isn't on this oil pump and for example this little ridge is a lot more pronounced on this one than on this one. But this is actually not a fitment issue and as I said all three will fit any 4AG engine block. Now the differences are actually in the inside of the oil pumps where the gears are. And those are the important differences that actually interest anyone who might be you know, building a 4AG engine and buying uh, an oil pump for their 4AG engine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up these oil pumps and show you the gears inside. So during its lifetime, the 4AG engine actually had three different oil pump gear designs. Now going from right to left, this is the first one, the original oil pump gear design. Unfortunately, it's also the worst one. Here we have the first revision to the design, and here we have the final design that was made later on during the lifetime you know, of the 4AG engine. Now we're going to go one by one, and I'm going to give you the details on each of these three different oil pump gear designs. So here we have the first, the original oil pump gear design. Now this is what the 4AG engine started out with and it's really easy to tell apart from the later oil pump gear designs because the teeth of the oil pump gear are squared uh, which is different from the, uh, from the later designs because the later designs are actually oval and rounded, have rounded teeth. Now the squared tooth design was actually bad because the squared design acted you know, as a stress point and uh, these gears would fail prematurely, resulting in catastrophic engine failure. Now, if you remove this oil pump uh, from an engine that had, you know, has high mileage, you might notice hairline cracks between these, between these uh, teeth, and this tells you that, uh, that that particular oil pump was in the first stages, you know, leading right to its failure. So, Toyota engineers realized this uh, relatively soon and decided to replace this design with a much better one. Here we have the first revision to the oil pump gear design and as you can see right away the differences are definitely very noticeable. Now the rounded tooth design is actually a lot better because it's a lot less prone to failure and breakage and this means that these oil pumps will last a lot longer than these ones. Now I'm gonna go to the final revision right away and you will see that these uh, two oil pump gears look virtually identical. Now to notice the, the differences between the first revision and the final revision, you actually need to remove the oil pump gears. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Here we have the final design and the first revision. And looking at the two designs like this, uh, it's again very hard to spot any actual differences. And that's because the differences between these two designs aren't in the shape of the gears, but actually in the thickness of the gears. And as you can see right away, the final design is noticeably thicker than this one. And being thicker is better when it comes to oil pump gears, because being thicker means that it's even less prone to breakage than this design, and being uh, thicker means it moves more oil, more volume of oil, which is good, especially if you have an engine that has a slightly larger uh, bearing clearances, such as many race engines have. So this is actually the design that you want on your 4AG engine because it will, it will last the longest and it will be the least prone to failure even when driven very hard. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to measure the difference in thickness between these two oil pump gear designs. So here we have the first revision. Okay. 
Now the first revision, as far as I can tell, is 7.4 millimeters thick. Now that's this guy. Now let's measure the thicker one. Now the thicker one is actually right at 9.5 millimeters thick. So that's about, I think, 21 or 22 percent thicker when it comes to the final design than the first revision. So that means it's ac it actually moves 21 or 20 percent more oil, which as I said is definitely a good thing for your engine. Now here's the question. You want this design but how do you know the oil pump you're buying actually has these teeth inside? Because not all of them have these teeth. I just bought this one, brand new, and it actually had these thinner gears which aren't bad but aren't as good as these ones. Now finding out uh, you know, which gears are inside just by looking at the outside of the oil pump is actually almost impossible and uh, you will be you know counting on your luck but there are actually some tiny little hints which are not a rule but can actually help you uh, you know increase your opportunities of getting the the right oil pump gear design inside your oil pump and here's the hint I'm talking about now this is the this is the this is the oil pump with the best design and this is the one with the thinner gears and the only difference is the only difference you'll be able to spot is actually right here you'll see that this part is rounded and in case of this one it has a little metal ridge now from the pictures I've been seeing almost all of the oil pumps that have these this part here rounded will have the best oil pump gear design inside so this is something that is not a guarantee but it might help you ensure that you get you know the best oil pump for your 4 g engine and just to further prove that point here's the oldest one and it's the bad design and it too has the ridge part here instead of the rounded part now this design you will be very hard pressed to find this one uh, if you buy a brand new oil pump because this design was dismissed relatively early on and you will get it new only if you find some very very um, you know old stock that has been sitting on shelves for decades so you'll be very actually lucky but unlucky to get this one now what you might get is the thinner one as I just got it and you want the thicker one now there's actually a couple of stores uh, that do sell the the thicker design that will guarantee you get the thickest gears there's links to these stores in the video description and that's also a really good way to ensure you get the right oil pump for your 4AG engine. So that's it when it comes to the different oil pump designs. Now it's actually pretty rare to have all the three different uh, 4AG oil pump gear designs in one place. And I was, I guess, unlucky enough to have all three there and I decided to use it as an opportunity to actually make this video, which I think contains some uh, pretty useful information for anybody who's interested in the 4AG engine. So I guess that's it for today, uh, I hope you liked the video, if you did like the video don't forget to share, like, comment and subscribe, uh, that means a lot to me, also I really appreciate all the support I've been getting uh, for the channel so far, that's a huge motivation and inspiration to keep producing more and better content. Uh, also do stay tuned for some cool upcoming videos on my bike car build and my suspension overhaul. And I guess that's it for today. Again, thanks a lot for watching and see you soon on the D4A channel.